so here we are everybody we're in sweden welcome to my room this is a really strange hotel it's got like this sort of chic look about it it's getting dark out there um it's called hotel hobo the shower looks pretty cool though look at this yeah it's pretty basic the room wait oh minecraft creator summit 2017. You know what? I love me a bag of swag. Let's have a look, see what they've got. Oh, what's in the goodie bag? I was told on the way here that these little dots make it like an ah or an or or sound. But I can't remember which one's which. All right, so we got some Swedish something. Wait, is this is a. <gasps> Yo! What is, is it? A water bottle? That's so cool. Oh, that's nice. Some chocolate. Minecraft sticker, Red Bull, don't drink it, it's terrible for you. I got some refreshers, Kex, Kex, more, it looks like there's just a lot, I think that's it. I think that's, that's the end of the swag bag. So, I was invited by Mo Yang themselves to come to Stockholm for a Minecraft Creator Summit. Now they haven't really told us much, a lot of what we're doing is secret. Um, but we have got a little schedule here, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like an office party and then we've got some outdoor activities and we're going to be dining with Vikings, something along those lines. Pretty happy to be invited, thank you very much Mo Yang, that's very kind of you. And Stockholm is amazing, I, well I've only, only saw it on the way here, but I need to go and have a look around the city as well. So, let's go and do it. Jang offices and they have the coolest thing that I've ever seen a company do. All of these paintings are Mojang employees. They take a picture and get them painted for them to put up and they're all like different themes. Look at this! <laughs> no, no, he can't use that. Look at this, one of the first looks at an exclusive Minecraft Xbox S. See, I haven't owned an Xbox since the 360, but this looks pretty neat. This is so cute. The pig, it's got a little tail on the back. See, I prefer, I prefer the pig to the creeper, but maybe that's just me. And the box itself is pretty rad. Let's have a look around the back. It's got redstone on the back. Oh, that's actually really cool, it's reflective. Very nice. We have been sent on uh, a hunt, some sort of like Stockholm hunt. We're walking around different locations. We've got a map and we've got to go to Stockholm and just get stuff for, uh, I don't know. We're going to go to the first location. Oh, we're here? Is this the first one? Oh, okay. We actually made it to the first one at the Hilton. Thank God Mark knows what he's doing. <laughs> what? Big V. Did you set this up? I did set this up. <laughs> You're gonna dress as Santa. Uh huh. And then the rest of you like Star Boys. <laughs> what is this? Alright, get ready, guys. We're going in. Okay. Let's, uh... Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm Boy band. back in three, two. Ah, uh, it's so dark. Woo! Big V's team are always one step ahead of us. I'm tired of bumping into you everywhere I go. It's just, this it's man, this man, everywhere. he's following me. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Stop, Aquavit. Oh, I don't want to do this so bad. <laughs> are you saying we don't have Aquavit here? Three, two, three. Yay! Yay! Oh. 
Oh, it's no, nice. Oh, oh wait, never mind. I've never heard never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay! Whee! You look so happy! Yay! We're, not apparently We're at our final one and we have to eat some crayfish for this challenge. Uh, so I have no idea how this is going to be. Um, but I'm definitely not doing this alone. <laughs> I'm going for it. Okay. I might like it and then... But I, I don't want to. <laughs> So where does all the meat uh, come from? Well, I'll tell you. Is it, I'll tell you. Claw. Is it in the claw? Yeah, that one's got like a meat. It's in the claw, claw, and you have it in the tail. He's not working out. Oh. His big B. <laughs> <He's not, laughs> he didn't skip He's arm a day. That one's for you. Are these been uh, sitting in dill? <laughs> that is like salt. Right. Sol okay. Yeah. 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 Eat that one. Yeah. Oh, I'm bad. Nice. It's pretty no, good, it's right? Fine. It's, um, I don't if you've had sick. crab or lobster, then it's fine. I don't want to eat six of them. Uh, then what about the body? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, pretty good. Alright, the end of the scavenger hunt. We did it! We did it! Kind of. We didn't reach all of the pa uh, places, but we finished all the questions. We just gotta find this creeper face on the floor, wherever it is. Reward! You're the second team! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, yeah. on time. Woo! We heard that you lose if you're late. the last day of the Mojang Creators Summit. It's been pretty cool and it's been pretty difficult to film because we've been so busy like actually involved in things like the tre treasure hunt or scavenger hunt whatever you want to call it like if I was filming I couldn't help. So today I think we're going on a boat ride we're having a talk with Jens you know Jeb l you know lead developer of Minecraft and then I think we're having a bit of fun tonight at dinner and then that's the end of the trip, so let's enjoy the last day and then head on home to England. Hello everyone, we're on day two. We're actually coming towards the end of the trip now, but we just had a meeting well, not a meeting, like a showcase, sort of um, seminar type thing where we had a little discussion with Jeb who told us a little bit more in-depth history, behind the scenes history of uh, Mojang or Mojang and it was really interesting, wasn't it? Was, it? it was very interesting, especially hearing his history yeah. and how he got involved and things he did and little things, like the details were really good. Yeah, and it's nice, I think, from a creator's point of view because Mojang's always been very distant from us in general. for. To hear it from them, like, it's not all rumours or anything, like, to have them open a dialogue is invaluable to us, and it, it really, uh, this trip has made me feel so much closer with the company that we Definitely. rely on, yeah. well, that we rely on, there's no other way of putting it. And then uh, we had a talk from Vu, who uh, works at Mojang as well, and he organised Minecon and stuff. Now, you may have been told or realised in announcement form that they are sort of phasing out Minecon for something new, but the announcement wasn't particularly well explained. And even myself, I was like, what does this mean? Um, so what they're doing, for those of you that don't know, is Minecon is essentially going to stop and they're replacing it or, you know, evolving into having multiple different community events, meaning that Mojang themselves aren't organizing a massive show, but they will be helping out smaller companies from around the world to host their own Minecraft events. Now, having been to these myself, Mindvention, Mindfair, you've been to some Mindfairs yeah. in Mindventions yourself, mm -hmm. they're a lot of fun. Like, you, just because you haven't been there, you can't judge them too hard. They are a different experience, but they are definitely fun. And if you like YouTubers and meeting YouTubers as one of your main reasons for going, 
these events are far better anyway because there's proper meet and greets and that kind of thing. You get to meet everybody. You get to meet absolutely everybody and you get the signatures and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to go hunting around for people. It's, it's a lot easier to do. Definitely more personal. Yeah. Like you, get, you actually get to spend time with the people that watch your videos. Absolutely. Um, the one thing that we were also told about was the live stream that will be so to speak, the official source of news of like what you would get at Minecon. So one of the things at Minecon is they would announce loads of the cool stuff that was upcoming or what they've been working on or etc etc. So people were wondering where that was going. And there's obviously not everything set in stone yet and they weren't able to tell us too much. But they did sort of announce that there will be a live stream and it will be special. It's not just going to be a normal live stream so to speak. The Minecraft community can get involved in it and uh, they don't have to just like watch it like a TV thing and there'll be viewing parties around the world so like Big B and I can like get together and we can watch it together and all that kind of stuff and from what I understood there will be viewing parties in major cities that are organized by Mojang themselves yeah. where we can go to so kids can still meet creators mm -hmm. and watch Minecon at the same time Minecon Earth at the yeah. same time so it's not like it's not a it's not a bad idea. It's no. really not. Like, I don't think it was explained particularly yeah. well because I just thought, oh, it's just a live, a live stream. stream. Just a live that stream. That kind of was the message that yeah. it portrayed at first. It was just a live stream, but that doesn't seem to be the case as they just explained to us in there. And uh, I think it's pr I think it's cool. I think it's a nice direction. As they explained to us, like, the reason Minecon needs to evolve is because there's 120 million people that play Minecraft and they cannot they can't make an event big enough for the amount of people that want to go so they've got to change something even if that does make a few people upset, upset. like even the gra they showed us a graph so uh, like let's say Minecon 2016 had 14,000 attendees but out of that 14,000 over 200,000 people tried to get a ticket yeah and that's just that's crazy which put it in perspective like I somehow managed to get a ticket yeah, every, me, every year yeah. <laughs> so I was very very lucky <laughs> but yeah that was that was great of them to share that and this event has been amazing. Not only have we got to know some of the Mojangsters for the first time, mind, like I've been to Minecons and I've seen them around but actually have a discussion with them and they don't have to feel like, oh, we're not allowed to say that. They know like what they can and can't say to us and all that kind of stuff and there's just an open dialogue which is amazing. So this has been... A... This has been much needed. Yeah, well. like, this, this has is... been a long, long time yeah. coming by the, by the sounds of things. And I, I, I've really enjoyed my stay here. Sweden is beautiful. It's it's amazing Perfect. here. Like, if you if you live in Europe, go and visit Stockholm, man. It's so good. You won't regret it. Yeah, it's so good. And I think for the rest of the day, we're now going on a big boat ride, a very fast one by the sounds of things. So, like, the next clip is just, like, me going... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, who knows what that's going to be like. Uh, and then we've got a bit of free time around Stockholm, and then tomorrow is the flight home. But... Yeah, thank you very much Mojang for having us here and uh, let's go on with the rest of the trip. What a beautiful Swedish summer day. We got our own private island. I'm so bad at football. English versus the French, here we go. We're done. Woo! We made it. <laughs> we made the boat. We're like the last ones to get off. Oh, we need to we need to get out of this stuff. Yeah, it is. I kinda wanna keep them, they look good. <laughs> go to space. 
So now we are going out to dinner and I'm afraid that is the end of the trip. So it's probably time to go home. We hope you have had a wonderful time in Stockholm. Unfortunately, all times must come to an end and it's soon time to come home. Have a good flight.